human costs. So with that, ah, so the, it stopped exactly right here. Not bad. All right, anyways, go ahead and hit that. Off to Drummond Cost this time for real. little mount's kind of cool i'd say all right it's this mount and let me call in mako hey hey can you actually put a die on their armor at any time oh yeah i should probably clear this out <laughs> uh let me see That actually doesn't look that bad either. I feel like that's that's pretty fitting too. I might even like that helmet more than the original one. If you ever need to go like green bounty hunting or whatever. Um <laughs> whatever that means. Green bounty hunting. You could always do a die as well. Wait, what? Free to play players may not participate in what? Oh, spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummond Cost is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. Still smells better than a hutta. That's like saying a girl's slimmer than a hut. Just a reminder, this is an imperial world, which means rules, rules, and more rules. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. Uh, yeah. I like tweaking with authority. How did I know you were going to say that? Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Chris Demarcon. Alright, let's do it. Drummond, uh, Drummond Car Spaceport. Off we go. Uh, so the one thing I did try doing was dropping this as well. So let's drop that this time. And there. Ah, cool. Starship upgrades. There's a mailbox right here. And let's take a, I always forget that Ready there's a departure. one of these over to Drummond Cost. I keep, I don't know why, but I keep forgetting it about the uh, speeder bikes, taking them to different locations on the map. It's just so much faster too. So I don't know. I don't know what's gotten into me.
nice perfect literally a perfect drop off point wherever it does drop itself at wait does it take us all the way up here yes so i mean i'm all right with that perfect <laughs> destination over to the left works out looking fresh all right it'd be cool if you if you use a amount that allows two people or has two seats in it if your uh, companion popped in as well but it's all right Oh, so that goes off in combat. That's pretty sick. Like <laughs> and when then you take I your told him, out. you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorian. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Whoa. Whoa. Hello, handsome. You here to sweep me off my feet? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. Ooh, what's this? Got yourself a pet? Little sister, maybe? It's not enough to hold a real man's interest, anyway. Mako's the only person in the galaxy who matters to me. Really? I... Really? Huh. You're lost. You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But they there's like nothing that. I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. You don't expect me to just give up, do you? Of course not. But life's about to get a bit crazy. You best be ready. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're going to sort things out. Head into the main room and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. All right. Nice. Level 11. Pull out her. And this doesn't really look like we got anything. All right, we do have combat proficiencies as well. Um, now, as far as. Let me check here. So let's go to MOs. Votor. And DPS stats. Now. Right now we're set as can you change to any of these at any time if i remember correctly you can innovation ordinance arsenal isn't higher right uh no Great, great, great game. Absolutely love it. Uh, severely underrated in my opinion. Especially for any Star Wars fan, for sure. Um, look for no innovation ordinance 6.0. Innovative ordinance 6.0. I'm just pulling up a guide real quick to see what I need for abilities wise oh my god why is it so zoomed in holy crap boom there it is default utilities so this and that and that and that and that got it then he now immediately vends an additional increased damage dealt by sweeping blasters by 25% it's the heat generated by jet boost concussion missile and cure let's do that this one first all right there we go we got a little bit of gear sets oh my god we just like got a bunch of equipment of course back soon there we go. 
scavenging. Okay, I should probably level slicing next. Did you ever play um, Star Wars The uh, Knights of the Old Republic? At all? Alright, so now we can pull up all the gear here. Jeez. There's a ton. Lock boxes, this stuff, that. Don't mind if I do. And that. Take that. Good God. <laughs> so much equipment. There's another one of those. Oh my God, there's more. There's more. Ah, uh, these sell for that price. Okay. These. That. Try to be more careful. Damn. Eighteen and forty-six. We'll replace that one. All right, there it is. Uh, minor fleet requisition grant legacy. Cool. Buff affection. Give this here command and increase your. Okay. Just a regular thing. Please start my fast. Three, two, one, go. All right, we are good to go, I believe. Oh wait, I need to go back in here. And into, talk to the hunt master. Quiet, quiet you dogs. The hunt master is about to speak. Pay attention and show some respect for once in your lives. You heard the hunt master. You're competing for the last spot in the great hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Kos. You expect us to hunt here with Imperials crawling all over us and Sith? Ah. Uh... Make a job. Man talk. I want to hear this. For all you Why does my guy sound so different no all of a sudden? Cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now. The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. I'm, I'm wanting to the Great Hunt, and this is the only way. Then watch your back. It's not the jungles that are dangerous on Drummond Koss, it's the people. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Well, what are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood. All right. Over to Krista. I uh, is it? I feel like something's like freaking out. What happens if I take the helmet off? I'm gonna hide head for this conversation a dozen cowards just scurried out of here probably won't stop till Droman cars you understand the basics right <laughs> three bounties hardest targets on Droman cars gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee can't wait this is the best job in the galaxy oh I like you you're even crazier than the rest of these hunters now let's see who your first target is whoa this can't be right you've got enemies among the Mandalorians or something just Tarot Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. 
What'd he do? What's the job? I wouldn't wish this What's bounty on jab? anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble name of Altaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. I love it when fat aristocrats get theirs. My thoughts exactly. Mako loves, loves everything that I say. I've seen how Imperials treat Literally their Literally everything. It ain't pretty. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Big money, Been eh? looking to earn some real credits for a change. Well, now's your chance. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still... Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S86K full-gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot Ooh. a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. <laughs> but once that? that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. Sounds good. All right, all right. Uh, let me put the helmet back on. Perfect. All right, so search for a camp. Uh, blue all the way down there. So we should be able to actually travel here. Let's hit up this thing right Ready here. For it's bad. It's in the Enjoy bottom right hand stay. corner. So for the most part, I think I'm just going to stick with the uh, the main stories. Um, I did try doing some of the planet stuff uh, last night on my other character I created, but it really didn't change much. And I ended up being over leveled for the planet after doing a uh, side or a uh, flashpoint. So. This will work. This works fine for me. I'm sure if we go this way or... I always forget. Yeah, I think it's this way. And then south from here. Yeah, I was literally here last night. Slave camps. Gathering resources. All right, so we're looking in for search the camp for clues. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Let's see if we can just run by. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> nice. I think this stuff's just generic. Oh shoot! I didn't realize that they are enemies. So the clues are some somewhere here to the left. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's a specific person that drops them, or they're like, yeah, inside there. Nice. 
Okay, so that builds up. This is, oh, I didn't even realize that this is one of the classes where your uh, abilities Dear build up. Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter from an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Their only lead. Shut up. Pay attention. <laughs> this may help us. Why? Righto. It must have been the force that brought you here to drum and curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places. And for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus Room is where we'll find these weirdos. Uh, is combat system information? Assuming that might be that. Less talk, more action. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. Sounds good. Go to Nexus Room Cantina. Oh, really? All the way back? Works for me. I'll take it. <laughs> Nice, we still got an hour left on the uh, XP bonus, so that's good. We should be getting another wow, one soon, or we might even have another one already. Have something that passes for fun after all. Uh, here. Oh yeah, we already have another one. At least six hours right there, not bad. Granted, these are only an additional 25. Uh, See anything you like? points but that's all right not the worst or it's not even bad at all take what we can get sell all the gear that come again i think i can just get rid of, rid of some of these unlock has already been applied to your character unify colors oh I guess that's if you don't have a um, subscription. These are like free rewards that you get, that that you can get. Just experience gained from completing class missions by 25 for one hour. Wow, we have two of those as well. Play character titles. Okay, it's already been locked as well. Character an additional slot for crew skill. You can ma maximum of three per character. That's interesting. That's another one we already have. I've got the best hardware and the best prices. All right, so back inside. There, sir. Just as I said. That looks like him, all right. Yes, sir. Bounty hunter. I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. You're a funny man, Sergeant. Think of that joke all by yourself. Don't get cute, off-world scum. Remember, you're an outsider here. I can shoot you just as easily as bring you in. Sergeant, Tarot Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! <laughs> Lost it! I told you not to call on this channel. Getting others to do your dirty work? That's just low. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. This helmet Still completely alive? changes his voice from the last sergeant? one that I had. So, who's that guy? Blood. I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> Either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. Save your breath. You're dead. Defend yourselves, men! 
Oof. <laughs> Fact. Or Daka. Ah, hello there. Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that filthy vagabond. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. I know who you really are, Lord Daka. Uh, then you know I am to be uh, feared, and that you should not keep talking to me. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from him. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. <laughs> so you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? I was promised a pile of credits to take him back to the Republic. You mean back to my family, don't you? But I thought, uh... You, you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family. That this, this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Ugh, you could be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. Make this fast, lady. I've got other things to do. My darling, my lovely oh, Altaka. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet. Hey, Wampus Gamer, thank you for the father. In fact, I'd How you doing? Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Altaka's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. <laughs> what? You want him to kill me? You think I'd let you walk away and be someone else's pet? Never. This keeps getting more disturbing. <laughs> She's insane. Please take me back to my family. It would mean so much to them, to my poor mother. Uh, enough. Kill Lady Daka. Kill him. Altaka's right, lady. You're way too crazy to live. She disproves. me, my love. What did what? she want me to do? Are you insane? I'm not scared of you. Wait, what happened? You killed her. Just like that. She was evil and twisted, but I did love her once. <laughs> Oh, God. We met years ago on Alderaan. She was so dark and mysterious. And now she's dead. Resist me, and it's more of the same for you. Resist you? I want nothing more than to be home. I'm ready to go. It's to be... Don't worry. It'll be painless. I'm coming, Mother. Haha, <laughs> nice. Right behind you. What's, um, usually they say what she likes and do don't like. So, uh, likes professional professionalism, bounty hunters, making money, freedom, and kindness. It's like bully bullying, cruelty, and snobs. Okay. So I guess be a little bit less cruel. Unless if it's somebody Banka really doesn't like. Yeah, we can just straight up, if we're going back up there then we might as well just do this
think we got some new abilities. Nice. Uh, dart fires a wave and blast a targets back and away. Nice. Hey there, hunter. Competition out there, something crazy. Couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. And you found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. I need three total bounties to get in the melee, correct? Afraid the rules will change again? Not yet, anyway. Still three to win. Your second bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Frabal, Imperial Navy. Hand it over, and I'll go see this Admiral Frabal. Watch yourself in that first sit and squawk. You haven't dealt much with Imperials, have you? They make huts look downright honest. Here's the slip. Frabal's in the city, not all that far a stroll. All right. Didn't I just get a new gun? Oh, okay, I, I did, but it's not really any better than what I currently have. Uh, okay. It's, it's an hour going down here. Yeah, this is the closest location to his office, at least. I like all these quests because, like, they're more focused towards inside the city rather than uh, running around in the outskirts. Can I try equipping the, this guy? I want to see if it does the voice thing still. I kind of wish it just did this the, the uh, did it of the Imperial same Navy. way that business here? Uh, Mako has. This is like, the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? Tell me about your boss. You work for the Admiral. What's he like? It's against regulation to discuss superior officers. Not to mention bad form. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. Very bright. So am I. Let me in there now. I really couldn't care less what you. What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome individual here, Admiral. Rather dirty, too. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. <laughs> yeah, like Next time, bang. The Admiral is waiting. <laughs> Right, that is actually kind of funny. Stupid, but also funny. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He is of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. That was good thinking. Ah, yes, just so. I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. Damn. Hold on. Let me move my monitor up just a little bit. And hopefully that's still good. Might need to move this down just a tiny bit. Well, bear with me, chat. Much. Wait. Okay. That should be good. Okay. I just wanted to move it up because I feel like I'm always like looking down so much and I want to be able to look more like straight on. So, I guess we'll see how this works. 
Dead daughter. Check. Details. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. This is some political move for you? Less a move than a response, but yes. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst. Hmm. All right. You got a lot to protect, Admiral. Precisely. There is no room for failure here. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. Is there going to be fallout for taking down a Sith? Not as long as nobody knows what happened. All right. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. All right. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. Good luck. All right, so let's go down here to Cost City, and then we'll take a uh, one of those things down to Lord Gratham's estates. Ready for departure. Down here, is it? Or no. Maybe here. Enjoy your stay. I think that's the right area, so we'll go here first. I feel like I kind of have like a little bit of a better view now for moving my monitor up because now it's like dead center. Like for me, uh, well, kind of dead center, like almost head height. I feel like, I don't know. Whatever though, it's close enough. One sec, while we're traveling there, I'm just gonna run a, uh, run this real quick. Why is it always in out like that? Every time. Okay. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad traveling there anyways. This is where I was at yesterday with my uh, Sith, Sith assassin. This is pretty much a, around the area where I stopped playing that character. I'll probably play that one like while I'm offline when I do have time. And then this will be like my main character while I'm playing online. And then if there's like any events and things like that going on for clans or whatever it may be, then that's when I'll uh, I'll join up as well. Oh god. Yep, I knew that was coming. I knew it. You're gonna get it now. Nice. I really wish that it that this helmet didn't do as much as the voice distortion as the last thing I was wearing was like the robotic portion to it 
I liked it where it just kept like my regular voice. But I guess it's all right. we hear you're not even a mandalorian are you when lord grathen's spy said my father contacted the mandalorian enclave i expected they'd at least send me a real live mandalorian i'm afraid i'm a tad disappointed uh, you're expecting me you knew your father wanted you killed of course but really how scary is that wait you don't seriously think you can kill me I mean, I'm a Sith, and you're just... Uh, whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. <laughs> then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? A true believer. Apparently, my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. And why am I here? Why would your father hire me if you can't be killed? To save face, naturally. Don't you understand how any of this works? A more powerful Sith could kill me, or a really lucky Jedi, I suppose. Perhaps a bomb, but not some random bounty hunter. You must be so crushed. Live and learn, I guess. Except, not in your case. Sorry. Okay. Let's see about that one. They go spinning around. What? I, I lost? Ooh, what a surprise. I can't lose. I'm Sith. Someone's been filling your head with garbage. I can't die like this, falling to some common bounty hunter. Everything <laughs> Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been yeah, what's living going on, in a dream world. It can't end like <laughs> this. It can't. Uh, actually, I can. It's not. Kill her. I'll do it quick. I feel for you, girl. Close your eyes now. I just can't believe it. Boom. Just like that. All right, now we can return to him. Not bad. Easy, easy clap. Take that. Nice. Back in Reports quick. of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... I'm sorry. This can't be easy for you. Thank you, Hunter. Empathy from one of your class level is surprising. Here, what about take you? Your I'm doing pretty good. Go. You'll uh, understand if I say I never want my to see the face of my daughter's murderer again. Returning to uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, as always. But uh, yeah, everything is pretty good so far, I'd say. 
Good doing business with you. Just go. Come on. <laughs> he needs to be alone with what he's done. Mako being the nice one. I return to that. Uh, we'll go up here. We only have one more contract left. Krista, mark them. Second bounty is done. Just one more, and I'm in the melee. Right you are. And competition is heating up. That little green girl, Iopian Rattle, finished all her bounties. Heard she poisoned an Imperial Moth. Lucky we didn't get that one. Not sure how we'd work it out. Now, I ain't allowed details on whatever you were scrapping for Admiral Fabal. But I got a clearance note says it was duly scrapped. Nice payday, too. Professionals don't talk about their clients. I hear you. Less I know, the better. Here we go. Bounty three. I call it, someone's got a serious hate for my hunter. Top secret, crazy, red flag covered. This one's for a Captain Metal in Imperial Intelligence. No other information. Looks like I'm working for spies this time. Better not want us to poison someone. Stay careful. Get this one done and don't get yourself dead in the pro... All right. Joe Pinky. Joe Pinky. Wooey Doopy. Wooey Doopy. Uh, increased damage reduction for 12 seconds. All right, cool. Last nearby enemy is backing away. Targa is hit by this. Take that and have a 50% movement speed. Nice. Wait, where's this captain at? Captain, captain. I don't even see him. Oh, he's down there. Interesting. I think it might have been faster if we took it uh, around the corner. Like if we took the speeder from this side to that side, but that's all right. Sith Sanctum, Mandalorian Enclave, and the Imperial Intelligence Headquarters. I wish you could use mounts in more areas indoors. I feel like a lot of times they're, they're taken away from what you the... too early. Oh, right. The bounty hunter. Glad you could make it. You nervous, hunter? What the? Oh, you nervous, hunter? Parked in the middle of Imperial Intelligence and all. I could say one word or touch one button and you'd disappear forever. Poof. Gone. Just like that. No one would even dare to ask what happened to you. Are you threatening me, Captain? What? No. I she disappeared with you what every... I I'm so day. confused. I don't know what Mako likes and doesn't like. I never signed up for this cloak and dagger stuff. I was a regular soldier. Then one day, I put together a covert op raid that goes a little too well. And bam, I'm in Imperial Intelligence. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane. And all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? Yeah, okay. All part of the service. My price tag always includes the cost of discretion. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cuss. Used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery. And it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally, we sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. 
We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to the temple? Because you've got warrior instincts, like me. If I can't prove my commander's dead, I can't take over his spot, which means an ugly power vacuum. I'm hiring you to enter that temple and find the team's ID cards, especially my commander's. I need those IDs to create more acceptable deaths for them. It's a done deal. I tell you, I envy you getting to do the fun part. Make sure you find an Imperial commander named Gargan. Can't imagine there'll be more than one corpse in a temple wearing commander stripes. Grab all the team's ID cards and double time it back here quietly. All right, got it. So where's this one at? Oh, all the way over there, damn. Okay. We're to Cost City, it is. And then we shall make our way there. Destination. Enjoy your stay. Enjoy your stay. All right, so we need to retrieve five Imperial Trooper ID tags. got the dubs nice nice dude nice good stuff oh my god what is going on with my character i can't see yeah, sorry my my internet went out earlier uh Abruptly, so I was like, you know what? Well, I'm gonna take this time to uh, go get something to eat. So I did. <laughs> Try to be more careful. We're good, we're good, we're good. I'm mean, nervous there. If you say so. Easy. Okay, we're good again. Oh my god. We're getting so close between some of these uh these people here. I'm nervous. <laughs> so, yeah. It's the dark temple. Check it out. How do we not get
All right, we made it inside. So now we need to find those trooper IDs. Why is, oh my God, those stairs. They're like flashing. Right there again. All right. Let's keep a lookout for him. There's a missile that explodes on the target. I feel like I should move these further up because then they go off faster. Fires electric dark, stunning them for four seconds. It needs on contact. Okay. Cool monsters and unlockable powers. But I have a game like this for a short uh That show generator Rex. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You miss me, darling. Things didn't work out. Nice. I've got this. Not a problem. I've got this. I should find out what uh, Mako likes. Three out of five. Nice. Four. Brother, <laughs> uh, let me inspect them. What do they have? But oh, kind of had some cool stuff. Thought I'd be a pushover, huh? Oh, there it is. Space gangster, that's actually pretty funny. Oh my god. Kingpin's blaster rifle. Huh. <laughs> As a, a round drum. A drum round. Round drum. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm tired. Down and done. I'm back. I've got that. that. Not a problem. What's going on up here? Commander Gargan. What is this in front of me? Another worshipper? Who braves the flames of the altar of horror to stand in front of Lord Barrel Slathborn, Lord of the Sith? This tomb has driven you insane, Lord. Insane? No. Do not seek madness, but fear and hatred, the tools of the Sith. Hope you don't mind if I shoot you now. Why? To me, my disciples! 
They go. I just don't like anything I do. Trouble on the way. Alright, return back to him. <laughs> Oof. Got him. You got the IDs. Fantastic. Let me see. That's Commander Gargans, all right. What was it like in the Dark Temple? I've yet to hear anything that didn't sound like pure raving. You wouldn't believe me about that place if I told you. Huh. Still wish I could have got it myself. Would have saved me some unpleasantness. Listen to me. Unpleasantness. I'm even starting to talk like a spy. Friend, remember when I said Sith didn't want anyone in the Dark Temple? I remember all right. Well, you can probably guess the rest. I can't risk the Sith ever finding out you went into their precious Dark Temple, which means you're now a liability. Mm. I apologize. How smart. This isn't the way a fighting man should die. Guards! <laughs> oh. That sucks. <laughs> that went wrong, didn't it? Got a hole in my gut. I'm not going to beg. Turning on someone who did their job is wrong. We both know it. Here's your writ. <clears throat> it tells the Mandalorians you did your job. And here's your pay. The rest is up to you. Are you gonna send more men after me? To do what? Add to the body count. My men are no match for you. How about I make a more concrete apology? I'll send you some top-of-the-line weaponry as soon as you're out of here. That work for you? I'm glad this didn't have to get personal. It never was. Believe me, you're everything a man should be. I wish I'd... Well, it's too late for regrets. What's done is done. Good hunting to you. Ah, oh, nice. Works for me. All right, so now we're heading back to over to uh, Crystal here, or Krista. And you know what? Whatever, it's faster and it's cheaper. <laughs> Just quick travel over there. go you're alive some mandalorian big shot named taro blood said you were dead 
They're about to start the melee without you. I can't wait to kill that man. You're gonna have to wait until after the melee. All the other hunters who survived are already inside. Get in there. All right, let's get in. If I die, bury my credits with me. <laughs> no inerians, huh? Thanks a lot. Don't get cute. Move. Nice. Well, 15. Before we head in, let's grab this. Nice, nice. Uh, seize the moment. We can move this over here. Should be right there. And what's this? Unload your blasters into the target, dealing that and generating blight. Okay, sweet. Work for me. Enter the arena. It's go time. The last hunter left standing joins the great hunt. Simple as that. All weapons are allowed, but you fight alone. No assistance. And it looks like we have a latecomer. Somebody made up a story I was dead. Your competitors were relieved to hear it. Too bad for them, huh? Huntmaster, will you do us the honor? Good hunting to all. Of your exploits, Hunter. Perhaps I'll turn them into a song to commemorate your death. I'll do the same. You prefer ballads or war chants? I prefer to win. I'd wish you luck, but it wouldn't help. So I'll just say goodbye. Enough! You hunters are the best that the galaxy's goons and thug lords could send us. Now show us which one of you will join the great hunt. Fight! Fight! I was about to say, do I actually get to use this or no? But looks like I can. <laughs> the melee is Mandalorian over. with some uh, force One use remains. usage. Quite a show you put on. Blasted fun to watch. How do you feel, Hunter? Like a winner. I just stomped my competition into the dirt. I feel great. <laughs> Enjoy it. Things only get harder from here. <laughs> this is simply ridiculous. I mean, really. This needs to stop right now. Are we starting a hunt already? No, no! No unsanctioned kills in the Great Hunt! You see? That's a perfect example. I object to this farce. This ignorant thug does not deserve to enter the Great Hunt. His credentials are a lie, fabricated by his little gutter rat of a sidekick. He deserves no honors. You lying, cheating, murdering scum! <laughs> we know this hunter's history, happy. blood. The Huntmaster has ruled. You fools! This is a place of honor, a competition of elites. Mandalore will hear of this. I sure hope you're not gonna cry. Enough! Before this great hunt is over, I will have your skull in my hands. Well, the great hunt just got way more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Huntmaster. Please continue. You get all that, Hunter? Maybe you want to sum it up for me. <sighs> all right, I'll try. But without the flowery stuff, you'll be hunting targets spread across the galaxy. 
There'll be at least one other hunter going for them, too. You not only have to take down your target, you have to eliminate the other hunters. One sec. That seems simple enough. <laughs> Your handler, Krista, will fill you in on the rest of the details. She's waiting for you. What is the... Oh. Oh, it's combining everything together. That's funny. What is this? I don't like that back piece. It's kind of weird. Mandalorian Clansman. Ooh. Oh wait, that's what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> wait, that is that. Okay. Uh, Stormbringer. Ooh, the Stormbringer one is actually pretty sick. What? Okay. Is that part of that big? It doesn't matter what you think! <laughs> oh wait, that's what I'm wearing. Yo, uh, Luke 17. Yo, thank you for the father. Somebody said they were wearing this. I see that. That's pretty sick. Resilient Wardens. Resilient. That's pretty cool. Shoot. Sec, I'm actually gonna write these down. Pad. Was the other one that a guy had? Remnant. Remnant. Huh. That actually kind of looks sick like that. That combination, I like because the, the suit piece is like all black. I mean, it's not really a uh, an outfit that has um, whatever it's called. Uh, like a jetpack or armor on the shoulders or anything, but it still looks pretty cool even just like that. Uh, what was the other one? Remnants, Underworld. Those are boots. But what's so special about them? I think that's the new one, right? Storm. Bring her. Yeah, that's this guy. That is pretty dope, though. I really like that. <laughs> even like that, even with that helmet, is pretty cool. Too. I love that color combination right there. The red and black. And, like, the accents of that. That's pretty cool. Damn. <laughs> That's like a tiny little thing. Functioning jetpack. I think they're talking about everything that has. Yeah, there's the Stormbringer's helmet. Even that's pretty sick.
advanced slicer armor. I love just going through this stuff sometimes. Dathomir shamans. Pretty cool. Fortified intimidator. Resolute. Reavers. This shit was so expensive back in the day. The Teal Sean's armor set. Cybernetic. I bought one of those at one point. I think my thing's about to run out. Yeah, 30 minutes. It's okay. We have like two or three more that we can use. Are there other FET armors? Unfeathered. <laughs> nah, it's not even like one. Savage Hunter. Fearless Hunters. There's so many Hunter sets. What about Shea Vizslas? Does her back piece have one? Uh, kind of. A little bit of an odd one, but... It technically works. I used to love using this stalker set on my, uh, my sniper. It's very fitting for that. Therans, ceremonial. Now they have me looking at this stuff. Mandalorian clansmen. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like that one. Battle efficiency scanner. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Red efficiency rascals toothpick. This is probably so much on the cartel market for a toothpick. I guarantee it. I guarantee it's like a stupid expensive price on there. Trophy hunters mask, imperial practice jersey. That's actually kind of funny. Destroyer armor, Republic Black Practice, Noble Commander's armor set. I just love the armor sets. Like, I could do this thing, these types of things all day. Fancy, fancy revelers, revealers, or revelers. Elegant, stylish, overt energy. Wait, is it like. Does it work? Is it just nothing? I guess. Forward recon. Phantom armor set. Merv Darth Revan. It's a bunch of uh Darth Malak. Mira's relaxed vestments, exquisite, Magnus magnificent. I'm just looking to see if there's anything with like a backpack on it. I love these like clone trooper looking armors at times. Do energized infantry is actually like light up. Even that's pretty cool right there. Yo, that's pretty neat. I feel like this is this helmet goes so well with so many things. I love how some do the T poses and others don't. Yo, Perkins Sam, thank you for the follow there. Asmat armor. I'll go back into running this in just a second here. Valiant Jedi. Armor customizations. Spray. 
pretty much all of the armors I think we just went through. Promotional. Wait. The Revenite Champion armor set was promotional? What? HK 55 helmet events armor okay whatever back to it be on this all day saying this question what a thrashing! The other handlers are all bug-eyed jealous you won. Now, on to the great hunt. I expect you want to hear about your targets. Tell me everything I need to know. Here's how it's gonna work. First, you're getting a starship. Uh... Okay. How's that gonna happen? Well, let's just say you're not quite done here on Droman Kass. On your ship's computer, you'll access two holo recordings, both with specific details on who and where you hunt. View holo recordings, take out targets. Got it. Each target will have another hunter assigned to it. You have to locate that rival and take him out, too. Maybe we'll get lucky and Tarot Blood will be on our first target. Now, about your ship, there's a tradition for new hunters. You gotta steal one for yourself. <laughs> Have to go far. Guess I'll be heading to the spaceport. Not quite yet. Gotta find you the right ship first. Gotcha. I know one that belongs to one of them so-called importer types. Fast, smooth, and roomy. I'll pull together your holo recordings for the great hunt targets and transmit them when you hit. Meantime, head to the spaceport. Get past whatever guards are around, steal your ship, and hit the hyperlanes. I'm off on the great Your first round of targets are on Balmora and Narshada. Good luck to you, Hunter. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, let's head to the the docks. We're at the spaceport. I always forget that you can take a uh, thing in here, but whatever. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm so. Thank you for the follow there. I uh, appreciate it. you disgusting pile of puke drop your weapon and kiss the floor this is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch you hear me scum can you repeat all that into this barrel you filthy off-world virus i've had three ships stolen this year by the mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts of course not all mandalorians are bad Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. I really need to kill that guy one of these days. Karakimi, Anikag Nikag, Kanyak Gak Akiguamjam. Kill, kill, you kill. Heard the man at him! <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Not bad. <laughs> Open the door. These guys are literally going down in like one shot. Oops. 
Nice. Three here. Rules or no rules, Tarot Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Sometimes it's right to hate. Yeah. I'd be happy going my whole life never knowing when those times were. We better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right? Yep, yep. Straight to it. Nice. First ship. It's a good old vendor right here. Remind. <laughs> I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. <laughs> Your last master isn't coming back. Got a problem with that? Absolutely not. He called me unpleasant names and never bathed. Not that there is anything wrong with that master. <laughs> I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty. Welcome aboard this. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker. For... The astrogation console contains a constantly. Interstellar communications are accessed. Priority alert. Just say, uh, Last... information. I have a mission to complete. Time to see what this ship can do. Thank goodness you aren't deactivating me. I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the strain. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I f whenever you are ready to depart, can Nice. Very good. Fantastic. All right, so does it say which, which? All right, so it looks like we're going to uh, Balmora first, because the other one's level twenty. That works for me. I we're good on that. Yeah, that's cool. Nothing from the intercom. Okay. Mako and uh, all right. So we got some stuff up there. They're all sell junk. Sell. Oh, whoops. Actually, open this. Sell that. Sell that. We have two new armor sets. Like they're the same. Value. Uh, where are those two packs? I'm just curious. Resilient. Shit. Don't tell me it's a hundred uh, seventy mil. That's not too bad. It's just a lot. Oh, wait, 70 mil? Oh, wait, no, it's 70 mil. I'm thinking seven, 700,000. No, never mind. 70 mil. <laughs> Jesus. Remnant. From the ashes. Arcanian. See if that comes up. 65 mil. I don't think that's worth it. Storm. Bringer. This one. Kind of. Huh. So. 200. Wait. They, they took it out and then sold it individually. That's 
750. Why is it so cheap? Wait, somebody's really selling the bracers for 750? Why is it so cheap? I'm literally about to buy it because it's 750. That's 12. I mean, for 210, you can get the full thing. Or for 100, 123, 145, 1. Not sure. Math. I have a bunch of stuff that I can sell too now, which is nice. Or I should be able to, because I I took it out of my inventory from one of the bundle packs or so. Then I should be able to actually sell this uh the gauntlets or bracers I just got. I really want this thing so bad. The hollow shield trooper set. So sick. So expensive though. The helmet. Wait, is this? Is it? Why does it look so different? Maybe it's not. I don't know. It's bugged again. Why? I'm about to put these bracers back up for sale. The 750, that was so cheap. Oh my god. I mean, like, is there even anything special about them? Storm bringer. Storm. Like even these are selling for twelve. I feel like I could sell this for like twenty five. Twenty. <laughs> Yeah. Let's sell. Three days. Your buyout price. Twenty. Zero zero zero. 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 Eight sale. Boom. Now it just makes more sense to buy the entire thing, but whatever. Um. All right, we can at least go to the next area. Let me chat with Mako. So this is pretty priceless. There's a ton of buzz on the net about someone breaking into Father's place. Father has been throwing credits around to find out who did it. No takers. Nimro's paying them to keep quiet. He's having way too much fun watching Father suffer. How are Net coming up with any other info? Republic politics, rumors about the war. Eh, nothing worth mentioning. Looking like a hipster. You know, Braden used to say I was unique for having this Holonet link. But I've no clue how I got it. I've had this implant forever. Parents must have had me teched out as a baby. <laughs> Who does that? Ah, uh, it's same, same here. Maybe they were thinking about your future. That's Why hard doesn't to have any eyes? The parents who abandoned <laughs> me, thinking about my future. Braden was always encouraging me to look for my past, and I figured street kid from Narshada, what's to know? Now, gotta admit he was right. Something weird there. You want any help? Let me know. Be careful about promises, buddy, or you'll wind up volunteering to wrestle rancors on Hutta. 
Thanks. Really, I appreciate it. Nice. Not bad, not bad. All right, travel to Balmora. Hunter, good. Hey, that's the. Uh, I remember. That's just the yeah. Starfighter mission thingies. Balmora, travel now. And I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick before we do this, so I will be right back. You notice the Great Hunt never sends us anywhere nice. Right. Go time. You notice the Great Hunt never sends us anywhere nice? The Empire's been fighting for control of Balmara for years. Death tolls in the high seven figures. How is there anything left to fight over? The weapons factories are built to withstand attack. The people aren't. Let's see what Krista has to say about our job here. It's starting the hollow now. Welcome to Balmora, Hunter. Your target is the right impressive Admiral Iverness. They call him Admiral Untouchable. Spends all his time on a fancy flagship surrounded by armed soldiers. Can't kill what you can't touch, Hunter. You gotta lure Admiral Iverness off his flying fortress and down to Balmora. To make things even more interesting, no friendly contacts here. You gotta figure this out yourself. And don't forget the job ain't done till you're the only Hunter left standing. Good luck. Mako, get me everything you can find on Admiral Ivernus. Already on it. Logging into the Imperial Network now. He's a war hero, all right. Actually won some battles against the Mandalorians. Wonder if that's how he got on the list. Hmm, this is interesting. Turns out one of the Admiral's toadies is in the market for a bounty hunter. Let's get every piece of information on them you can pull down. The job listing contact is Lieutenant Major Purell. And get this, discretion is of the utmost importance. Whatever this is, Perel wants it secret. How does this secret job help us? It's all I've got. Better than nothing, right? How about we go have a chat with Lieutenant Major Perel at his office at the Imperial Base in Sobrick? Find out what he wants. Alright. Sounds good to me. Exit your ship to Balmora. Take a good old screenshot. <laughs> Man, I love this game. It's nice because I, I honestly don't like remember this storyline at all. Besides like a little bit of the beginning area, like Nemro. But that's pretty much it. Um, so it's kind of it, it feels fresh to me. boy you there bounty hunter we want to work with you damn uh why you're looking to hire me or what we've come to collect a debt from you and we expect payment in full we Corellians are very particular about our debts you killed our brother vex you pile of scum you got anything to say for yourself vex had a bounty on him 
I'm a bounty hunter. End of story. He was that Corellian bank robber on Hutter, right? The fast draw guy. You couldn't take him in a stand-up fight, so you shot him in the back. Now you're going to pay the price. The name Taro Blood ring a bell? He told us how you slaughtered Vex and then killed the old man, Brayden, when he discovered your crime. Brayden? I can't believe even Taro would stoop that low. Brayden was more than just my mentor. He was my friend. Taro killed him. The only one getting fried here is you, and for nothing, you're gonna die for a lie. Hang on, Vi. What if the bounty hunter's telling the truth? You take the word of this mongrel who killed our brother? No, but I'm not sure I trust Taro Blood either. What if we're being used? Taro sent you to die. Don't listen, Bor, it's a trick! What if he wasn't shot in the back? If this bounty hunter killed Bex in a fair fight, what chance do we have? You're smarter than you look, Vor. If I'm gonna die, it ain't gonna be because I was too dumb to walk away. Let's go. But what about Bex? We made a promise. Our brother's dead. Getting ourselves killed won't change that. Come on. Smart kid. Ah, so Mako likes that. <laughs> I'm gonna check the uh, the armor I have one more time. Might give something else to Mako. Uh, cause right now I don't really like the the not even just the helmet, but the way it's set up. I feel like even the charismatic might look better on her. Um, Dark Legionnaire, Mandalorian Seeker. Is that what she's, that's what she's wearing right now. Yeah. I got a new one, but I can't remember which one it was. Let's give her the charismatic. The full charismatic set. Yeah, that's. I think that's better. Even with the default coloring. Nice. Take our mount. Port to Major uh, Perel's office. Mandalorian Neo Crusaders owns this area. of Lieutenant Major Perel. I am ODX-9. How may I be of assistance? Tell your boss he is a visitor. I'm terribly sorry, but the Lieutenant Major is in a meeting and cannot be disturbed. If I may inquire, with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Uh, I'm in a hurry. My name's not important. Just let me in. I'm a bounty hunter. That's all you need to know. I hate hunter. the markings oh, on this chest piece. I don't believe I've ever met one of you. I do think it's really I cool, but it's just like but even when you die, it, in a meeting and cannot be it stays the same. Thank you for visiting Lieutenant Major Perel's office. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> Thanks, I will. I should blast you. Quit your Come here. Get the Lieutenant Major right now. Oh, yes, yes, right away. I'm so sorry to bother you, Lieutenant Major. The Republic had better be bombing the planet, you worthless piece of junk. Sir, forgive me. I had no choice. There's someone here. I don't care who's out there, you scrap pile. I told you I was not to be disturbed. Discretion is of utmost importance. Ring a bell. Sir, shall I call security? 
Uh, no, no. That's not necessary. Send our guest in right away. This time, make sure we are not disturbed for any reason. Any reason. Understood? Perfectly, sir. I will unlock the door right now. Pharrell's our only connection to Admiral Ivern is, so let's make the Lieutenant Major a very satisfied customer. Nice. My apologies for the poor welcome. I never informed that idiot droid I was hiring a bounty hunter. I'm assistant to the naval attaché of the governor of Balmora. I specialize in intelligence gathering. Master is wise and powerful. This is Mergir, an amusing gift from a friend on Drummond Kass. What she lacks in intelligence, she makes up for in entertainment value. Let's get down to business, shall we? My superior, Colonel Sashias, is an incompetent fool. I toil in his shadow, though his job should rightfully be mine. I kill him, you get a promotion. If only it were that simple. Unfortunately, my superior is popular with the right people. But what's most infuriating is that Colonel Sashias has the full confidence of Admiral Ivanus. Colonel Sashius remains in power because he excels at hiding his gross incompetence from the Admiral. But we're going to tear down that facade. The Colonel loses his job. Admiral Ivernus comes here and gives you a promotion. We're going to work well together. I can tell. Hey, Hank Hall Jazz, thank I you for the I want you father. to create problems for Colonel Sashius. Problems I'm confident he can't deal with. Your missions will involve plenty of mayhem and destruction. And the pay is quite generous. Interested? Generous pay is my favorite term. Excellent. We speak the same language, then. <laughs> Your first target is the Okara Droid Factory. Before the Empire invaded Balmora, we sabotaged the facility, turning the droids into crazed killing machines. Colonel Sashius is very close to deciphering the facility's control codes. If he does, it will bring the droids fully under the Empire's control. The Colonel cannot be allowed such a victory. I sent a data slicer to enter a code scrambling virus into the facility's computer system. Very sneaky, Lieutenant Major. Yes, I was rather proud of that plan myself. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The security team escorting the Slicer was killed by the facility's droids. Now the Slicer is trapped inside. The Slicer refuses to input the virus until I send a rescue team. I'm sending you. The Slicer's name is Zalia. Force her to input the virus into the system. Then eliminate her. No loose ends. We'll have more business to discuss when you return. Sounds good. All right, go speak to Zalia. Might switch it up to this one for a bit. I haven't decided which one I actually, I mean like I like this because it looks more official and everything, but I hate that, I hate the markings on the side. I just feel like they're so out of place. If it would, if it did not have them or you could get rid of them with dye, then I feel like it would be perfect. This one's all right. That's the new one overall. But there's this classic one. <laughs> I remember this back in the day. Stick with this. This 
displaying all authorized destinations. Damn. <laughs> it's always so cool seeing uh, other people walk, going by you. Oh, it was always so neat. Pew, pew, pew. Probably not going to be going for too much longer tonight. Uh, since it's almost nine o'clock and I'm trying to get my uh, sleep schedule back on track. Nine o'clock's about the cutoff point. Anyways. What? Level 16? First day? Not too bad. I feel like there might be a little bit of faster route, but again, it's not too bad at all. Making some good progress here. I need to find, figure out what's a good rotation for these abilities. Right now I feel like I'm all over the place when there's probably a better, uh, better way of going about it. Let's see, single target rotation, mag shot, and incendiary missile. I have both of those. Mag shot. I don't think I even have that one yet. Serrated. Yeah, I don't even have that one yet. Thermal detonator. I, think I don't have that. <laughs> Power shot. I have that. Rapid shots. I have that. Jet boost. Missile blast. Patient, yeah, so it, it says that opening up with this. I mean, I can get to it as close as possible. Okay, get our next one at 19. So two levels. Uh, we have unload. Okay, 
right, we don't have either one of those. Thermal detonator. I don't have that yet. Mag shot. No. Power shot. Have that. And then mag shot. Electronet, the boost. Yeah, I don't have the rest of the abilities yet. Okay. Do we have any new ones to learn? We do have emergency scan. Zalia. You're Zalia the Slicer, right? Zalia. Perel sent me. Yeah. Make the stars. I don't know how much longer I could have held out. My reconnaissance team was evaluating the factory's computer systems when the droids overpowered us. The droids slaughtered my team. I've been stuck here for days without food, water, or sleep. I know why you're really here, Zelia. You know about my mission? Then you should also know why I can't complete it. I already told Perel. If I put the virus in the computer's control program, it'll trigger alarms. Those droids will swarm us. I'll make a nice big scrap pile out of them. There are dozens of them out there. Crazy killing machines. You can't fight them all. We've gotten out of way worse situations. We'll be fine. You're totally set on this, aren't you? Okay. Let's do it. Do it. Here goes nothing. Do it. Beep boop beep. <laughs> there it is. Damn, son. Got them real good. Nice. And we actually killed that. I can't believe we're still alive. Hold you. You'll be fine now. Oh my stars, thank you. You're amazing. I've never seen anything like that. I'm bailing out of here before more droids show up. Running away never felt so good. Not how it's supposed to work. I wasn't sent here to rescue you, Zalia. Oh. Oh no. Please don't kill me. I swear I'll go straight. I'll never slice another computer. Just let me go. You have to promise to disappear. Absolutely. I'll change my name. D delete all records of my existence. It'll be like I was never born. I believe her. Besides, Pearl's an idiot. He'll never know. Alright, dis disappear. I never want to see you again. Got it? You won't. Thank you. Back over to Sober. Yep, right there. I remember when there used to be like a 30 minute cooldown on uh, the quick travel points. I guess that's not a thing anymore. I mean, fine by me. I'll take it. Whoa. That's pretty cheap right now. 720. Huh. How often do they go on sale for, I wonder? Four hours, uh, it's a flash sale. Welcome back. 
I take it everything went well, and the Okara droid factory is running smoothly? Yeah. And what about Zalia? I trust that slicer won't be a problem. What slicer, Lieutenant Major? Ah, yes. What slicer, indeed. <laughs> the Admiral will soon see my worth. Master is so wise. Huh. Remain silent, my pet. Ajit has Or I wares. shall discipline you again. <laughs> and you don't want that, do you? Maybe she does. Here is your payment for taking care of the slicer, my friend. Excellent work. Your next assignment concerns the local fauna. Wait, she's a spy. Colonel Sashis she's listening is in. responsible for keeping our citizenry safe from the deadly colicoids infesting this planet. Dangerous jobs are my specialty. I'm in. Colicoids are vicious, giant, insect-like creatures that devour anything in their path. Their exact origin on Balmora is unclear. I like using moving my mouse behind me, so that way it's not in the way. After the Empire's invasion, the Balmorans in released corner, mutated colicoids you can't into the see wilderness. It. The creatures successfully bred and have become a plague Works on out. the population. The colicoids have become almost docile in recent months. Attacks are down all across the planet. That makes Colonel Sarsius look like he's got this plague under control. Yep, I see where you're going. You want to stir up these creatures, make them angry. Precisely. The only thing to do with docile colicoids is make them hostile. The last time they attacked in force was when a survey team accidentally encountered a colic. Following. Place that eventually the queen will reveal herself. She is so suspicious. Personal conquest increase. I feel like that thing is about to like level up or whatever. So fast. But, um, chat, I think right here is actually a perfect point for me to stop for today.